possibly believe me, but what I'm about to tell you is true. 100% true. Everything started the day before my mom got married. Honey! The day that I had, I'm talking mind bending bananas. <laughs> what? Hi, sweetie. This is my mother. Hi there. You look adorable, see? She made an effort. She looks nice. You could do that. <laughs> In the middle of the story. I know, I'm being supportive. Could you do that somewhere else? What if you started by introducing the fail? I'm getting there. It's my story. She used to be so sweet. Mom! Oh, I know. Good. So, it was the second Friday in April, and every morning is pretty chaotic in our house, but this was even more crazy. Mom. Mom, what are you doing? I want to be able to see your pretty face. She hides her face. Ah! That morning, she was really up in my grill. Just one day, that's all I need. Just a day without her nagging. Just one day, I beg, I plead. But the drag just keeps on dragging. All I wish for just one Monday or Friday to be free. Free to slouch and sulk and mumble and be messy and be me. All I ask is for 12 hours to live my life my way. Just one simple, awesome, crazy, big ass day. Mom, can I ask you something? Honey, I need you to hold that thought. The florist is outside making the arch of roses? Sorry, no, not roses, peonies, ranunculus, fix that. Great, aprons okay? Yes, but not the short ones. I got half of it. Where do you want the cooler? Tori, focus the fish. Ellie. Didn't you wear that yesterday? It has not been improved by time. <laughs> I wish you'd change. Please change! Oh, one more day, she's on my back. She's been riding me forever. My faults and all I lack and all I owe, whatever. Cause I'm lazy and I'm average and I'm sloppy for start. And I know she's like a daughter who was pretty thin and smart. And I know she's freaking perfect, but I'll never be that way. Not for a single solitary day. Tomorrow is the wedding, and tonight is the rehearsal, and there is no room for error. I mean, not one flaw. We've got guests in just ten hours, just the tables trim the flowers. I want beauty and perfection. I want total awe. Feature on the scene here. The business is depending on this one success. Now breathe. Thank you, Tori. And in fact, that is the story. So get moving. Move this produce and remove this mess. You heard her. Move. Just one day is all I want with my family united. Fears at bay. No fights. No taunts. Just the four of us delighted. <laughs> we could 
check into the hotel yet, so we came over to help. Mm -hmm. Great. I'll go find your father something to eat. Oh, she's not going to have anything I like. Hannah, ask the question. We can leave in just one sec. Have you asked your mom about the lunch? Ask me what? There's a thing tonight. Tonight? As in the rehearsal dinner that is being photographed by Weddings Magazine that tonight? Mrs. Blake, Ellie, Gretchen, and me have formed a team to do the hunt. I know. I know about the hunt. Kids stay up all night taking pictures of themselves, doing crazy, dangerous things all over the city. Come here. It is unsafe, and it scares me to death. My mom said it was okay. You're Swedish. Everything is okay. <laughs> okay. Tonight is the hunt. It's an epic scavenger hunt. Every year there's a new list of impossible things to do and crazy things to find. And every year there's a new list master, and this year the list master is Adam. <laughs> <laughs> the hunt has been happening in my high school forever. It's the mother of all scavenger hunts. <laughs> it's so much fun. And I really want to win. There's just one issue. Just one day, that's all I seek. And I have been asking nicely. Just one day, it's not a week. It's a night to speak precisely. And the hunt is not a stunt. It's my only shot and fail to be someone who is something that just wants her name. If I can it, I can win it. And she'd only say, oh. Oh, really, Mom? I'm a child. 
<laughs> Mother! This is not funny! <laughs> you have my face. You have my face and my body. teacher conference today. How can you be so irresponsible? I don't know. I guess you'll find out at that conference. <laughs> okay. okay, we need a plan. Before we go get the hourglass, you have to stay here for the interview, oh. which means I will go to your school. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way in hell you can handle a day at my school. Oh, Ellie, please. <laughs> Ridiculous. You listen to me. There is going to be an interview. It is essential that you be polite and charming. Right, because that's so you. And not snarky. Uh, do not be mean to Mike. Oh, 
my god, this is so lame. No carbs, don't even think about it, focus. <laughs> <laughs> On what? One, get interviewed. Two, get my picture taken. What a rough life. Oh, oh honey, <laughs> being a working parent is in fact extremely difficult comparatively. Your life is simple. Uh, <laughs> my life is complicated and tiring and hard. You go to school, you come home. Easy. You make party food, and then you go to the party. <laughs> wow, no more hurry. I'm good. I got this. I got this. I can see what you do for me to be you. I got this. I'll bake stuff. I can fake like I make stuff like you. I'll have a laugh, half my coffee, half cat. And then you have this guy. Yeah, I got this. Yeah, I got this. I'm gonna stick up my butt, be quick to say, what? There, not this. I'm perfection. I don't need your direction at all. Call me a slob or a slackerish blob. I can act like a snob and fool that mom. I got this, like it's my job. Good. You can see what it means to have a job. I'll go to school. Stop. I'm not wearing that. Mom, swear to me. You keep your head down. Don't look at anyone. Don't talk to anyone. And don't embarrass me. Honey, I know it's hard to believe, but I attended high school and I did just fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Amazing. Okay. Catch you later. I give him my lunch every day, like you're feeding a unicorn. Hannah, <laughs> I don't like him, do I? No. You love him! Hold <laughs> on, oh it's Savannah! Ellie Blake? Yes, I heard something funny, Ellie Blake. I heard someone say that you said that you thought you could win the hunt this year. <laughs> Savannah, it's obvious you're at the top of the social hierarchy here. Kudos. But there's been a misunderstanding. You better believe it. I got this. I got this. I'm the queen of the hunt. You're free. You're the ones. I got this. You lose, girl. If you choose to refuse, girl, stay. You shouldn't be getting with the more you can't win. Cause I'm smarter than sin. I'm rich and I'm thin. to be right now? I don't know. <laughs> you need a little more film on the left corner. Uh, careful! The, that's hand-painted china. Catherine prefers all her tablescapes framed from above. Right? Whatever. <laughs> Here's the fridge. <laughs> Keeps food cold. These plates and napkins. Oh, these are the thingies that you use to play the spatula! <laughs> These are a bunch of spatulas. Where did you learn to cook? Uh, she went to the CIA. I'm a spy. <laughs> the Culinary Institute of America. Ha! Ah, food spy! <laughs> so as a working mom, and not to mention bride-to-be, how do you manage your work-life balance? I ignore my kids. <laughs> Uh -huh, just kidding. Catherine plans everything with military precision. Uh, she makes a plan and we go to war. Weddings are war. What inspired you to do everything for your own wedding? Obviously, I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you an industry secret, all brides are a little crazy. <laughs> no. It's not because I'm a bride, it's me. <laughs> I'm a buzzing people around, right, Tori? <laughs> <laughs> what makes Catherine's work so sp special um, is, is, is her attention to every detail. You have to see the cake. Cake. Your wedding cake. Oh. I'll go get it. Wait. Uh, your fiancé's name is Mike. Uh-huh. Your assistant told us you and Mike met when he refinished your kitchen cabinets. That's adorable. Is it? Ta-da! Oh my god, I made that? I made that. Bam! Bam. Spectacular, right? Is that fondant or ganache? Tori. Ganache! Ganache! It's a lot of ganache! <laughs> Catherine, if I'm going to write a wedding magazine cover story, I need to know the woman behind the bride, behind the wedding. Right. It is the real Catherine Blake. But baby, I do the magic We're just a mixing bow oh, oh. I somehow stay this skinny While baking giant cakes Yes I guess that's just my jam Jam is who I am
It's your recipe! <laughs> now Tori here is nervous. I snap and Tori freaks. Let's look at her meringue. They're the perfect little piece. She acts like I'm the boss. We both know it's not true. I dictate like a jerk. You somehow make it work. I do? Yeah! the least effective way to communicate. Really? Yeah. How interesting. So, what did your mom say? My mom... Oh, she said no, I can't do the hunt. How can you drop out? My mother's under real pressure today. I need to be here for her. Since when do you want to do anything for your mother? You said all she cares about is the wedding. I said that? Al, we're a team. We have to do the hunt together. Please don't give up. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> nice of you to join us. Hey, Nana. Hey, sup. What? What? Did you just say hey, sup? I said sup. Oh, <laughs> sup. Hey, Adam. You want to be lab partners? I read the textbook for fun last summer. No, I already have a partner. <laughs> Yes. The frogs are here. We're doing dissection. Oh, why do we have to dissect today? Because I'll be damned if my minivan is going to smell like hot frog again. <laughs> I like your hair. You do? Yeah. I can see your face. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> There clearly are some mysteries to life. 
It's kingdom fall and class and then it's border family genus. It all comes back to me like child's play. Uh, and he leans over my shoulder there in all his long leanness and cuts my heart and knowledge clean away.
And she said? I said. Seven layer bars, bars don't let you eat out as cooking. cooking with the stuff. <laughs> she I hates seven layer bars. <laughs> Good story. <laughs> now the two of you are writing your own vows? No. They're not done? No. <laughs> I know how important it is for you to have all the details perfect, but the vows are important to me. Now, I want to stand up there with you tomorrow in front of everyone we love and say words that come from us. Here, why don't I read you what I have so far? I'm not a man of many words and none that can convey. Exactly how I felt when I first saw your face that day. That's really nice. I'm not a man who made a speech of lots of fancy rhyme. So all that I can say is I will love you for all time. That was so good! And I feel so loud and you, like I've known no one before. But still I know there's a more. I'm not a man who writes a book that gift it is in mine. For you I'd write a thousand books, my heart and every line. And every book will tell of you and what I will be. And through it all it's day, a stunning mystery to me. Here, I'll test you. Cause I feel so much. I've known no one before. Never. Oh, I know for all I know of you, there always will be more. Cause love is in the knowing, the knowing so much in
cookies. So where'd you hide the ball? I don't do drugs. I eat Cheetos in bed because they comfort me. I thought this was a scrunchie. Turns out it was a fog. Mom, get that out of your hair. I'm about to see stash. Candy corn? Mom, please. It should be available year round. <laughs> I checked your browser cache. Fox News. Ha, ha, ha. 
Yes, the Aldenbach assessment, the adaptive behavior scale, the Beck anxiety inventory, all these tests tell me angry. I don't think the best tests are stupid. Mrs. Blake! <laughs> if Ellie continues to treat her classes like a Las Vegas buffet, she may not graduate from this school. Great. That's just great. Sometimes I like to role play. Ellie, you pretend to be your mother. <laughs> Let's talk. No. no, I can tell you what's wrong. I infantilize my daughter. I'm controlling, I'm a bell. I micro, micromanage. I'm all up in her grill. It's called parenting. I demand that she be perfect. All that pressure, all that boss. I'm a parenting disaster. Don't you think so? Let's discuss. <laughs> Forgive my darling mother and forget each thing she said. Put the blame where it belongs now, squarely on my head. I'm reckless and I'm feckless. I go and get tattoos. I think it's called a tramp stamp. I can show you if you choose. No, 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 no. At least she doesn't smoke like me. I smoke. It's a single parent family, so you both are filled with rage. Her development arrested at the pre pre verbal stage. Or it could be ADHD, ADD, or STD. <laughs> I suggest that you try Ritalin and yoga and soy cheese. Soy cheese? Is awesome. She's functionally unfunctional. She's raucous and she's rude. Excuse me, Esme, he has so perder la attitude. She's intelligent. You hear that? But I'm focused barely there. Oh. I think she smokes the ganja. She does not! I don't I swear! She's wasting her potential just the same. It's not her fault if she's too bright to tame. But somebody has got to take, somebody has got to take, somebody has got to take the... With all the blaming and the shaming, no, you hush. The uncharitalizing and the I'm the teacher, I should reach her, so the failure here is mine. She's bright, and she's articulate, her heart and mind are fine. <laughs> In all this finger pointing, this crusade, no one's thought to check her file, to see she's struggled for a while, since the seventh grade. Your dad passed away? Just say died. Died. Oh, honey, I've been thoughtless and for years. I never thought your anger stood for tears. It's clear to me I have to take a listen, dear. We have to do this now. I'd rather not discuss it anyhow. It's high school counselor BS all the same. Cause now have to. Let's wrap this up. I appreciate all the feedback. Yeah, from now on, I'm going to be really good. Your class sounds really boring. <laughs> but somebody has got to Responsibilities in this world and missing class is not okay. And when you're back in this body, you're grounded. Well, when you're back in this body, your pants are going to feel tighter because I ate two pieces of extra gluten toast. <laughs> Give me the 
car keys. No! Jim! Now! Oh, what? You are two in gym class. Well, right now I have a... Honey, you have responsibilities in this world. <laughs> Missing glasses is not okay. <laughs> I'm waiting on you, Blake, and I don't like waiting. You go to class, I get the thing. I'll see you at home! <laughs>
then you'd already know the clue. That's cheating. I ain't no DJ Ellie. I don't take requests. The hunt I hold it sacred. The bond I won't transgress. I feet take it to Lark at most. A stupid childish game. So you say it's my thing all the same.
Just forget what I said. <laughs> no, sad as the shit is. <laughs> One day you'll feel normal, but that's not enough, it's not by a lot. They'll hold you and tell you they love and they care, but they lie when they tell you they'll always be there. They know it's upsetting, but life isn't fair, and parents die.
Oh, well, you are, huh? Yep. After everything that... You know what? Never mind. Mike! Mike, she didn't mean that! You did that on purpose. You messed up my life on purpose! You are so irresponsible! Just one day, I did my best. A disaster, but I faced it. One short day, Just one, one job.
and here's your first clue. See the sign? This clue is going to be solved by the fastest mind with the fastest mode of transportation, meaning first come, first solved. So, if it's gone when you get here, move on to clue two and beyond. Happy hunting! Where are you headed? Hollywood. Hollywood? Long bus trip. You want to hear a joke? Yeah, I do. What do you call a sad coffee? No clue. Gepresso! <laughs> what do you call a man with no body and no nose? I don't know. What do you call a man with no body and no nose? No body nose. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Fletcher. I was talking to him. I'm Caspian. Hey, Caspian. I'm Adam. I think you go to the same school as my sister. Who's your sister? Ellie Blake. Ellie Blake? <gasps> Your mom is the sandwich lady? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Does she know where you are right now? Hey, little dude, what's up? I'm running away. Why? My mom started acting weird, and my sister hates me. Uh, I'm sure she doesn't hate you. <sighs> Women, kid. <laughs> Women are like... Sandwiches. <laughs> what? <laughs> Women in sandwiches, they always surprise. They're more complicated than burgers or fries. Or guys. Women and sandwiches, some are cold and some hot. With the taste that disagrees That maybe makes you angry Gives you agitated crease But go with it at least a while And soon it's not so strange With time and understanding And taste can change Step back! Pass it off the list! Wow! Women and sandwiches Like chocolates and wine Sandwich that you looked at just one way, and it suddenly surprised you. Say a lot and say today, and then asked you to do something that you thought was just a cheat. The explanation wasn't so complete, but still, in all, it's just a simple feat. So maybe you should help her, cause she's sweet. Home. Should we get out of here before the cops come? Brilliant, mate! Brilliant, mate! Finally, I have photos. Here's the school picture. His hair is longer now, but you should put out an APD. Honey, I need to 
talk to your mom? Nah. <laughs> How tall is your son? About yay high. How old? Nine, ten, ten. What was Fletcher wearing the last time you saw him? A shirt and pants. Uh, brown corduroy pants, gray muffins t-shirt, brown and black velcro corrective shoes. Corrective shoes. Miss <laughs> uh -huh. Blake, does your son get along with everyone in his life? Um, he and his sister fight sometimes, but he can be very annoying. Your son is annoying. Wait, don't write that down. Has Fletcher experienced any recent emotional trauma? Emotional trauma? Well, Fletcher was his regular happy self today. Except, I did hurt him. You hurt him? You hurt him? You hurt him? Hey, in the car. We may need backup. <laughs> no, I didn't physically hurt him. I hurt his feelings. It was an accident. Uh, of course it wasn't physical. My mother adores Fletcher. She spoils him rotten. Uh-huh. That ever make you mad? No, it does not make me mad. Everyone loves Fletcher. I love Fletcher. You seem mad. You think I'm mad? Hey. He thinks I'm mad! You need to find Fletcher!
See you, Al. See you. Oh, uh-huh. Hey, uh, good luck with the marriage thing. Can't say it worked out for me. <laughs> Thank you for finding Fletcher. He's a sweet dude. <laughs> hey, um, at school today, did Ellie act at all weird? You can tell me. Yeah! Ooh, I knew it. <laughs> We got into this huge fight about this hourglass. Adam, about that hourglass. I broke one this morning, and Ellie was just trying to help. I think that she likes you, but then again, everyone likes you. You should know that she likes you. Never mind. <laughs> I like Ellie, too. You do? <laughs> It's pretty weird to talk about this with you. <laughs> Just, I'd rather talk about it with her. <laughs> Would it be cool if I asked her out? That would be fine. <laughs> so, okay. okay. <laughs> oh, Adam, I know you're probably still in the middle of the hunt. And with that in mind, if you did put the hourglass on the list, that would be worth a lot of sandwiches to me. <laughs> Obsessed with throwing the perfect wedding for weddings magazine, Fletcher ran away. Look, I didn't get the hourglass on the list. I messed up. This Fletcher, okay, we heard he was missing. It was on the police radio. Why do you have a police radio? It was on the list for the hunt. <laughs> Fletcher's home now. Oh, good. How is the hunt going? Terrible. We need Ellie. Well, we do. You guys, today. I put Ellie under a lot of pressure. So, if she acted like a tool, then I'm pretty sure that she did. <laughs> it's my fault. You guys are all best friends. <laughs> Can she be back on the team? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, no. A new clue! An oversized hourglass filled with pink sand. You did it! <laughs> you have to go! No. Just... No. Why not? Your life and your peer group are both very confusing and the pressure is killing me. You go. You know what? I would love to go. I have been dying to do the hunt, but it would be totally insane to have a mom do it. So maybe you can dig deep. And do this one thing for me. Okay. Wait, tell me what I should do now. I messed everything up today. You'll figure it out. I trust you. Let's go! We need to find some of the easier things! Let's focus on the hourglass first! Have fun! I'll just be right here. Hey, hunters, it's List Master. Now I've got Gotta give it all you got And don't stop running till it's done Found the last one, I've got more Each tougher than before And you know I'm keeping score So I'll fall in You know just where you're going, kids And then 
thought you could go be brand new. Be the person that you never thought you'd be. And you'll see. Mommy, read to me. Please. OK. <laughs> there? Yeah. OK. <clears throat> Peter awoke, face down, with sand in his mouth and a bird on the <laughs> Maybe it wasn't a good idea to let him eat brown sugar out of the box. Mike, I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology for today. Yeah, I was warned. You did say that if you came at our wedding, you'd be a crazy person. I didn't know how crazy, but I you know. I want to apologize for Ellie, too. For Ellie? You know, Ellie's a pain. She's not very nice to you. I don't want to speak out of school here, Katie, but Ellie can be mad. It's okay. It is? You're too hard on her. She lost her dad. I could never replace him, and I wouldn't try. I need for Ellie to get to know me on her terms. I love her. If she wants to be angry at me, I can take it. She isn't angry at you. She's... Sometimes she's just angry, and she misses her dad. <clears throat> I think Ellie's afraid she'll forget him. Hey, no one needs to forget him. Her, or you. Are we okay? Yeah. <laughs>
Mike. I like Mike. <gasps> yeah. Time for bed, puppet master. <clears throat> oh my god. I'm the mom. I have to clean up. <laughs> Bill that wipes out your profits for the quarter. But from one small business owner to another, this favor, this favor matters. Please let us borrow it. Just a loan. <laughs> She's a ninja. I want that hourglass. Too late. My father's an alderman. If I don't get that hourglass now, he can call the IRS to audit your books for the next five years. Sorry, girls. No, no business. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> Pulse. The Pulse. And at the end of the day, you are who you are. Savannah, we got here first. Give it back. Little girl, why don't you call your mommy for a ride home? <laughs> oh, my mommy wants me to stay. Let it go. What is this feeling that I'm feeling? I know she'll break through the ceiling. Is it only the caffeine and the sugar and the pizza? Dear me. I have three slices of that pizza. Our carbs are feeling that I'm feeling. Like I'm losing it but dealing. It's alarming but appealing. And somehow healing. right now to be a kinder person. This is a personal growth opportunity. <laughs> Suck it! Oh God, have I taught my daughter to be cautious at all costs? Have I made her somehow be
Tom Michael star when we start! <laughs> One? Catherine! Let's get this party started! At least, sweetheart, what you wear. Are you nervous? I never imagined I'd be in a wedding dress so soon. <laughs> oh, I remember when Tom gave you this hourglass. He loved you very much. And Mike loves you very much. And if he loves you a fraction of how much I love you, you'll be all right. Now, go marry that very patient man and, and put on a little more blush, just a skosh. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I think I was actually standing over here. I was standing over there. And I was holding it with my right. I was holding it with my right. Okay. Ready? Really ready. <laughs> now we've got the magic glass and the magic came to pass. And we learned important things. Blah, blah, blah. Turns out, 
You do belong with us in this family. But I still can't go through with it, even though I love you. Wait, what? Say that again? What? I love you. I will put no one above you Cause I love your messy hair And I love your grouchy glare The way you dress and all your mess I love them through and through Whatever makes you happy I want for you, I do I'm telling you it's true Would be cool. 